हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सर सर्वर ज्ञान माय नेम इज डॉक्टर लोकेंद्र सिंह एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट कपल ऑफ क्वेश्चंस व्हिच आर यूजुअली आस्क्ड एंड दीज आर एक्चुअली लेटेस्ट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस व्हिच हैज बीन इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाय एडब्ल्यूएस मे बी विद इन 2019 और 18 एंड सो आई हैव माय सेल्फ फेस दीस क्वेश्चंस कपल ऑफ टाइम्स सो दैट्स व्हाई आई थॉट ऑफ शेयरिंग इट विद यू बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल and uh, one more thing if a person who would like to go for full stack developer then i'm going to share a link with a of a channel known as learn ad so you can uh, start following that thing as well okay so uh, what are virtual cpus in ec2 that is first thing so if you talk about traditional ec2 machines so up to now all the guys who have been experimenting things with t2 instances so t2 does not have this feature enabled but yes apart from t2 instances amazon ec2 instances support multi threading it means which enables multi threads to run concurrently concurrently on a single cpu core it means you can run your multiple applications based on the number of virtual cpu which you have within your operating system so that is known as vcp it means virtual cpu a single physical uh, cpu can have multiple virtual core within itself so when you create machine you select only number of virtual cpus not physical core so that that is that is completely based on that how many cpus you want to have within your uh, ec2 machine you select based on number of virtual cpus okay so next question is who will get benefit from p3 instances now who will get instances who will get benefit of so as we know there are multiple instance types for example there is t2 micro t2 large medium and all in the same manner m series there m4 m3 m5 series is there so in the same manner there is a particular series which is known as like p3 so who is who will get the benefit of this type of instances or who can utilize these instances so the answer here is those guys who are working with ai it means artificial intelligence or machine learning or deep learning so the particular computing which requires high performance computing which is known as hpc you can see it here so hpc means high performance computing all the guys who are looking for it they can start using p3 type instances this is going to be really beneficial for them okay so uh, should i move there is one another question that i am running my current infrastructure on c4 or c3 instance type so shall i move to c5 so answer is yes so c5 has at least 20% less price better performance and obviously all the instances which are running currently on c3 and c4 instance types so these can be migrated but keep this thing in in mind that all the instances who does not support ena it means elastic network adapter who like all the instances which does not support ena will not be migrated to c5 directly you will have to do some additional steps so just so you will have to take care of that so all instances cannot be migrated from c4 to c5 but you will have to take care of ena uh, section okay but yes you are going to get better performance and less price there if you migrate to c5 okay so there is another question which i recently faced that how many ebs volume can be attached to one c5 instance so whether it is c5 or whether it is c, uh, m5 so you can attach a maximum number of 27 volumes for all operating system types be it is ubuntu windows and whatever you are trying to boot so you can associate 27 volumes and it depends on the number of eni it means elastic network interface as well that the number of elastic network interface you associate so that will be able to provide you better performance on the top of it so that has uh, also to be considered okay then what is underlying hypervisor of for c5 so like c5 instances so hypervisor means the particular technology or the particular mechanism which makes you enable to create multiple virtual machine on the top of a single hardware on a physical hardware so currently all the c5 type c5 instances type are running on the top of kvm technology kvm means kernel based virtual machine so that that is default browser which comes with the rhl 6 7 or 8 okay the next question is why does the total memory reported by the operating system does not match with advertised memory of c5 instance type 
so uh, recently i was facing an interview so then uh, i was asked this question that whenever we select to uh, create an instance and for example there aws advertising that you are going to get 16 gb of ram maybe 20 gb of ram or whatever so when we launch instance and we go inside uh, in, 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 inside that instance we do not find the same memory so reason being c5 classes provides you virtual bios bios means basic input output system so that's the thing moreover it provides you acpi tables it means advanced configuration and power interface so this particular configuration requires memory and that is why all the devices which are providing you virtual bios as, as well as like acpi tables so these devices reserve some virtual video ram it means all the memory which is allocated to your ec2 machine so some amount of ram will be reserved for these configuration like virtual bios video ram and acpi tables so this is why the particular amount of ram which is advertised by aws and which you are getting there has to be a small difference so the reason behind is obviously the virtual bios acpi tables and rest of things okay so why should customer choose ec2 m5 instance over ec2 m4 instance in the same thing which we were discussing about earlier like uh, c4 and c5 over here is m5 and m4 so obviously you are going to get uh, m4 instances if you have a comparison between both so obviously m5 instances are faster cheaper and obviously the biggest advantage is you are going to get like like xeon intel xeon uh, scalable processor fine and which will deliver you up to 20 percent improvement in performance and uh, almost 20 percent like uh, price comparison it means it will be 20 percent cheaper than m4 okay same question once again how many ebs volume can you attach with m5 so we have already discussed so based on ena and the particular instance step you are going to select so you can pick up to 27 volumes you can associate with single operating system keep this thing in mind beyond 27 if you need to attach so then you will have to get in touch with aws okay then uh, what is underlying hypervisor of m5 instances so m5 instances like uh, m5 m5a m5ad m5d so what does this mean so it means whether you are going to use up like disk optics disk optimized or whatever so based on that like like it is providing the features all the features which are provided so these are based on nitro hypervisor and nitro hypervisor is based on core kvm technology so the particular hypervisor which is used for c5 class so same hypervisor is being used for m5 class as well so these are these are the features of your hypervisor which makes you enable to perform faster and to like pay less okay so next question is what happens to my data when a system is terminated so the time when you create a machine so it is depending only on that particular scenario when you click or when you associate hardware so there is a particular option which is known as check like delete on termination if you enable that check so when an instance will be terminated so your data will be lost but if you uncheck that so your instance will be terminated or it means only ram and cpu from your account will be released but not the storage device but keep this thing in mind if you are running such a system which is behind auto scaling group and multiple instances are coming and going on daily basis so you will have to manage multiple available volumes you will have to pick data from there and uh, obviously you will have to uh, like go for cleanup multiple times so there has to be some different solution which is known as efs or something else which you can uh, use while talking about persistent data okay so what are the types of ebs volumes available in aws ec2 so yes we have multiple types like we have somewhere five so first of all is general purpose ssd we have provisioned iops we have mag magnetic we have throughput optimized disk we have cold hdd so these are five let me tell you one thing like cold hdd and throughput optimized these there are two, these are two types which do not support operating system installation it means you cannot install you cannot opt these two type of devices as your root volume okay uh, can i can can i mount okay the question is a bit different can i mount single volume can i mount single volume on multiple ec2 instance no why you cannot mount multiple uh, you can you cannot access one ec2 volume with multiple instances reason being it could be a root volume 
so one root volume will not be accessible within multiple EC2 machines. Wherein, if there is a question like how can I access one mount point within multiple EC2 machines, so EFS, it means Elastic File System is going to be solution for that. EFS means Elastic File System, which is just like your NFS. So if you are aware of NFS, so this is a managed NFS service provided from the side of AWS, which you can access. So this is a regional service within a region, all those all the machines where you have, you have VP, all the VPCs where you have VP pairing enabled, you can access this. So that's that how that's how it works. Okay, now next question is what is elastic fabric adapter? EFA. This is new technology, this is new term which is being asked by the interviewers because if you're experienced, so definitely you should be aware of all these things. So an elastic fabric adapter which is known as EFA. It is a network device that you can attach to your Amazon EC2 instance to accelerate high performance computed, which is known as HPC and machine learning applications. Whenever you talk about machine learning, deep learning or like uh, artificial intelligence. So these type of processing requires high performance. So EFA, it means elastic fabric adapter or is, is going to provide you high throughput uh, over network. So obviously it is optimized to work on the existing AWS network interfaces and it can scale depending on application requirement. So it is not always required that you need to have like pre-booted or pre-warmed uh, EFA. These are, these can be scaled on demand. Okay, now next question is what load balancer options do does the elastic load balancing service offer? It means what are the types of load balancer do we get on AWS? So there are three types of basic load balancer, like uh, load balancer. First of all is classic load balancer. Second one is your application load balancer. And third one is network. So going forward, classes, classic load balancer is going to be deprecated. This will not be in use for a long time. Overall, we will have only two application and network load balancer. So I hope this is it for this video guys. Thank you so very much for watching. If you have any further questions, so please do write in comment box. I shall be happy to assist you on that. Thank you so very much. Have a good time. Happy learning. Please do like, share, subscribe to my channel and do not forget to press bell icon as you will be notified for my upcoming videos. Thank you.